Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried saying that I wasn't right. what I've been printing in this month for some customers and everything that you see right here is not for me those are for customers and some things are prototypes some things are work in progress so as you see here this is one of the Rexes we have the male and the female Rex and there's a lot of detail this was printed in 12k resolution and it's really incredible, I have to say that this design indeed looks very, very awesome. It makes you relive your childhood memories with this Rex and this is going to one of my customers out there. He actually ordered the male and female Rex, Godzilla and a V-Rex. So this is one of them right here. I haven't fully assembled this because obviously it's not going to assemble. Here we have a different one. I believe this is the male one. This is Bug and the difference is it has like some scars on the mouth area and the bottom section. The neck section is on a little bit different compared to the female and it's obviously bigger. Uh, you guys can definitely tell by the sizes. I'll do a comparison later on. Printing those, they have a lot of details and I love how they move if they were to you know be fully articulated i like how you can see like all the smallest details it's really incredible and lots of fun with this one and the other ones that are coming out but here you go for everybody that wanted a comparison to see the difference between both head sculptures that's the difference this one has like little spikes this is different, the scratches, the battle damage, obviously. So yeah, honestly, both of them look really, really nice. I love how you can tell which one is the male and female, really nice. Now take a look at this. This is a gigantic V-Rex customer request. And as well for this one, I had lots of fun making this. Over on Instagram, you can see this one fully assembled just a little bit more so you get an idea of how massive this is. This is almost in comparison with the gigantic Godzilla 2014. And I love it. There is a lot of detail. The articulation is there. And I really, really had fun with all those pieces, honestly. I love 3D printing and I also despise it sometimes. It has its ups and downs. But yeah, I mean, here's the body and the body is massive. Like really, really massive body. And a lot of people were asking, what's the size of this? If it's 1 8th scale and no, this is a lot bigger than 1 8th scale. Uh, I know some of you were curious about that. And no, this is a lot, a lot bigger. If you compare this to a 12 inch figure it's bigger um this took you know for the printer that i have it was pretty fast that's why i love this printer because you can print really really massive prints like this and it prints them extremely extremely fast so probably something like this on a normal printer would take you like um 
10 hours plus and this was really really quick and i'll do a comparison later on now here's a different one that i printed on a different printer and it failed because it was too massive it didn't fit and that's what happens those two pieces right here the top section and bottom section took around nine hours just get an idea those two pieces took nine hours whereas this massive piece with this this and more parts that are located over there took less than seven hours so just compare that you get more parts that are massive seven hours or less and this took almost 10 hours so that's the difference now if you may ask why was that well look this took longer because i printed on a um, higher micron meaning that it's going to output more details but i'm sacrificing that extra speed and i think it's worth it i think i don't see a big difference between both of them you guys can see that yeah there might be some details that you can see here and there but keep in mind this is a much more detailed resin this is a more soft um resistant tough resin very great resin for articulated figures whereas this is something for more details and you guys can probably see that there's more details to be found but it's not a big difference. If you were to ask me, is it better to sacrifice speed for that extra detail? I would have to say no. I prefer the speed because there isn't a big difference between both of them. There was to be a drastic difference where there was like so much details to be found on this compared to the other one, then yes. Sorry about that guys. It's very difficult to record with a lot of sound in the background. I do apologize. Anyways, if I was to choose between details and speed, I would go with speed. I don't see a big difference to go with details. Uh, I simply don't think it's worth it and I prefer to print a lot more things that are bigger and done in a much lesser time compared to something that is two pieces that's going to take triple as the same time or even more. And this is an example where details is worth it over something like this. So here's a sculpture. Here's the um, Rex head sculpture. Here's the other one. Big difference. You see more details here where the details here have been totally lost. You can't even make out the eye. It's a night and day difference. This is where you really do benefit from the details over something like this where it's smooth. Details have been lost throughout the face sculpture. This is an instance where you do recognize, okay, yeah, details are worth it over this type of work and the printer quality, you know. Other things that I printed also here is a little Godzilla. It's like a chibi type of Godzilla. This is probably one of the most detailed head sculptures I've seen. This is a Kitoro head sculpture. And look at how much details you can see right here. It's articulated as well. Very, very amazing details compared to other things that I've seen and I love it. It's one of my favorites, definitely something that is for me. Now here we have a prototype Godzilla. This actually failed. Even though the sculpture is very impressive, the articulation is no good, everything falls apart. So I had to glue all the extra parts together. So it's in prototype phase still. But you get the idea, um, you know, there's uh, here we have the bigger version. You guys can see why it's a prototype and why it failed. The articulation is simply not there still. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks great. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of technical problems with this sculpture. Actually, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this um, piece. Uh, the other parts are done. But it's unfortunate that I, I just wasted so much resin on this for it to be uh, full of problems, you know. But the overall like sculpture, like don't get me wrong, I already said it. It's very impressive, very nice, it's great screen accuracy. But articulation wise, it's simply a failure on my end. So that's so far what I printed. At the moment, there's other things coming later on, which I might make a part two. Let me know if you guys are interested on that.